From 1929, the New Deal in America, from 1940s, the Marshall Plan in Europe, from in our own very generation, the massive construction in Asia, particularly China, and the Middle East. So Nigeria is going through something similar, but perhaps in very challenging times. We miss this opportunity when we had multi-dollar income, $100 per barrel of oil, and we did not invest it in infrastructure. This administration is committed to follow the path of greatness, build the foundation for tomorrow by investing in infrastructure. But what does that do? It means that, for example, we have to raise money. And I'm very happy to learn that over 1,000 876 investors are already doing business because Buhari government decides to build. That's how to build an economy. In line with federal government commitment to the funding of infrastructure, the proceeds will be used to further support budgeted capital spending for 2018. The construction and rehabilitation of 28 key economic roads across the six geopolitical zones of our country. Each of the six political zones has an equal allocation of 16.67 billion naira. The roads will ease commuting. The roads will spur economic activities across our country and further close our infrastructure gap. The Sukuk funding option is part of the initiatives of the government of Nigeria to diversify government funding sources while also deepening the Nigerian capital market, mobilizing more savings and promoting financial inclusion. The use of the proceeds has an inbuilt investor protection mechanism. Consequently, the Sukuk proceeds have been ring-fenced in a dedicated account at the Central Bank of Nigeria, and this is to ensure that the funds are utilized only for the road projects that this uh, bond is floated for.